animations in PowerPoint are incredibly useful for telling stories. This slide has no animations. What do you think? That's about right, you and everyone else. But what can you do to improve it? You've got two choices here. One, pause the video, read the text and think about how you could create a more visual sequence that makes it better, which is what I'd recommend. Or two, just sit back, relax and watch what we've come up with at Bright Carbon. Well, how about this? Taking exactly the same bullet points and putting them into the speaker notes, you get this slide. We're reviewing our processes and have identified a saving. The current four-step process will be modified with the second step changed using new tooling. This will allow the third step to be eliminated, and due to the re-engineering of the second step, we can now move the first step later in the process. As a result of this, the final step will be much quicker and more efficient, and overall will achieve increased efficiency from this new two-and-a-half-step process. What do you think? Works well? Great! Now the only small question is, how do you do it? The entire story is told using the four chevron boxes and then animations to show you what's happening. You're all animation pros by now, I'm sure, so I've already added in the simple entrance animations coming in from the left. And if you're not, then check out www.brightcarbon.com for some vintage animation masterclass tutorials to bring you up to speed. Let's start with the change to the second box, which is a color change. Here, I'm going to select the chevron then go to the Animations tab in the ribbon and choose the Add Animation button on the right. Here you can add a Fill Color Emphasis animation, and using the Effect Options button in the ribbon just next to Add Animation, you can choose what color it changes to. I'm fine with the default blue, so let's leave it. That's the change to the second step. Now you need to remove the third step, which you'll do with an Exit animation. Click on the third chevron, and in this case, also shift-click the box and the tool as they're separate objects, and you want to remove them all. Then, choose Add Animation in the ribbon, and select an Exit Animation. A fade is great in this case. That gets rid of the elements from the slide. The next step is to move the first box into the third box position. You'll use a motion path for this. Click on the first chevron, and also shift-click the box and the tool above it. Go to Add Animation, and on the Animations tab, scroll down and you'll find the Motion Paths. If you choose Lines, you'll add a straight line motion path to all three objects, and you'll get a preview of them moving down. Next, go to the Effect Options button on the ribbon, and from the drop-down menu, choose Right, so the objects move along the conveyor towards the third box. You'll see they don't quite make it all the way, so you have to adjust the length of the motion path. That's pretty easy. Motion paths move an object from the green arrow at the start of the line to the red arrow at the end of the line. Like a line shape, you can change the motion path length and direction by clicking on it and moving the grab handles. If you do this for the chevron motion path and the other two as well, you'll see a ghosted image of where the shape will end up. So match chevron 1 to the position of chevron 3 so that it moves correctly. Then do the same thing for the box to line that up, and also with the tool, which in this case you can guess a little because the position doesn't have to be perfect. There you are. All three now move the correct distance. Finally, let's deal with the fourth chevron. This needs to both shrink and change colour to show the efficiency gained. To shrink it, click on the chevron, and then the Add Animation button in the ribbon, and choose the Grow Shrink Emphasis animation. By default, this makes something larger, but if you go into the Effect Options in the ribbon, you can then choose a different size, in this case, smaller. You can see that it makes the entire shape smaller, as you'd expect given the name, but you actually want it to be narrower. So if you go back to the Effect Options button, you'll there find that you can also dictate the direction of the shrinkage. If you choose Horizontal, then your chevron will stay the same height, but just get narrower. Perfect. The last animation is a color change to show that it's more efficient. So with the fourth chevron selected, choose Add Animation from the ribbon, select Fill Color as before, but now rather than leaving it as the default blue, go to the Effect Options button and choose a nice green color instead, which helps support the idea of a more efficient process. Then just a few tweaks to the animation timing in the animation pane. 
Make the green color change you've just done happen at the same time as the shrink by right clicking on it and choosing with previous. Then select all of the emphasis and motion path animations you've just added and change the duration using the timer on the animations pane so that they all take one second instead of two. This speeds things up a little so it's simpler to present and a little easier to follow. There you have it, the same sequence as before, beautifully animated to tell your story. So try it out and let us know how you get on.